In this video, I'm going to show you how to clear your permanent diagnostic trouble codes using one of these particular OBD2 readers, and these cost under $30. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we have a permanent diagnostic trouble code, and this affects vehicles 2010 and newer, and mostly in California for the time being, until other states jump on the money wagon. And these permanent codes cannot be deleted. They actually have to be unlearned. So your vehicle needs to detect that this issue has been fixed and then clear the code on its own. Not even a dealer can clear these codes. And the way the vehicle does this is by verifying that the issue A has been fixed and B, that you have driven at least 200 miles and you've completed 15 warm-up cycles and I'm going to show you how to use this to go and check that. Select OBD2 at the very top, scroll down to live data and now we're going to look for three different fields of information. One of them is going to be the coolant temperature, the next one's going to be distance since last cleared and the last one is going to be warm-up cycles and what you have to do is start the vehicle when it's under 120 degrees and then warm it up till it gets to 165 and then we'll come back and check up this warm-up cycle right here and the engine coolant temperature is on the very front page right here currently it's at 56 and climbing and there's a total of 46 fields of data available at the very top up here and the engine coolant temperature is the fifth one Warm-up cycles are still at zero because we have not reached 165 degrees. The warm-up cycles is going to be number 35 and this could be different on your vehicle. And on the next page it says clear distance miles, it says zero. So you want to hit 200 miles here and 15 warm-up cycles and the coolant temperature now is slowly climbing. I want to get this to 165 degrees. Today's a pretty cold day. Outside temperature is 50 degrees. The coolant temperature is at 158 degrees. And right there, you can see one warm up cycle has been completed. Again, permanent diagnostic trouble codes cannot be cleared. The vehicle has to detect that the issue has been fixed. So, fix the issue and complete the 15 warm-up cycles and drive the 200 miles and you may not have to drive all 200 miles and complete all 15 warm-up cycles but doing so will allow the vehicle to pass an emissions test even if the code is still present as the technician can go ahead and verify that that criteria for the miles and the warm-up cycles has been met and at the dealership, we would oftentimes get vehicles that had permanent diagnostic trouble codes because they were from auctions. So what the smock technician would tell us to do is to drive the 200 miles. If the code hadn't disappeared, then we would take it down to them and they would warm up the vehicle past 165, below 120, and do this enough time so they can verify using the method that I showed you. And they would get the vehicle to pass. And a little fan like this definitely cools off the engine really fast and you want to place the fan on top of the engine not in front of the radiator and a little tip before I let you guys go is in case you're facing a situation where your smog is due you can go ahead and post the fees as long as the fees for your registration are posted they're not going to penalize you and as soon as you pass the smog they will go ahead and send you your new tags if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below and I'll do my best to point you in the right direction and I'll leave you guys a link for this at the end of the video as well as some other videos that are a lot more in detail about permanent diagnostic trouble codes. Thank you again.